I find it interesting. The uh, the whole be kind thing. My problem with it fundamentally is that the people who are promoting a specific vision of what kindness is aren't actually being kind and in their attempt to prevent bullying, they're actually bullying people. But it's on their terms, so, you know, they're right. Right. That's how things always work. When when I do things my way, it's it's correct. If somebody else is doing some other thing, they're wrong. Like so it's just tribalism. So, like an example of this <clears throat> on social media, somebody uh, that I actually know in real life um, is looking for a home for a cat that they have, right? And, yeah. So they post, is, does anybody have room for a cat? And, you know, a little bit of detail. Not much, it was very vague. And there's a whole bunch of responses already, because I'm, like, late to this. Also, I don't want a cat. So I just said, well, I have room to bury a cat. Um, this person uh, farms. This person raises animals for food. And I know this person in real life. Okay. So this is not actually inappropriate. <laughs> Also, if you're looking to get rid of a cat, if you're looking to rehome a cat, and somebody says something like this, you're not going to give it to them. So there's nothing about this situation that is unkind, but it triggered the fuck out of some people, and they're like, Oh my god, how can you do this? No! Like... So you people are also friends with this person. You know that she raises animals for food. That she, she butchers animals and eats them that she raised. You know this. What are you freaking out about? It's a cat. What a cat is for is for eating mice. Their purpose is to murder other animals for the benefit of the farm. That's the purpose of a cat. If you're keeping a cat for a pet, you're kind of crazy. <clears throat> Especially if you have multiple cats as pets in a small building, like a house. Your house smells like cat piss. It doesn't even matter, like, how, what you do. Your house is going to smell like cat piss if you have more than one cat and you're only raising them as pets. This is a very strange behavior. And is it really kind to the cat to just like perpetuate it in this sort of situation in an indoor indoor life where it grows fat, it ends up with diseases, you're paying ridiculous amounts of money for vet bills at, at the end of life to continue prolonging its life, because you can't deal with the thought of putting an animal down when it's, it's time. This isn't kindness. This isn't kindness. This is you clinging to some ridiculous ideal and being incapable of recognizing reality and accepting it. It's an animal. Animals die. You and I will die. That's a fact. Okay? So today, for instance, Oh, I did, I did some deliveries, came back, it's about noon at this point, a little after noon, come back and I go outside and, um, there's a hawk. 
and it has killed a couple of my birds. So, scare the hawk off. And probably tonight and tomorrow, I'm gonna have. I'm gonna have bird. I'm gonna have some. Some squab. Because I cleaned them up, and you know. What can it. You, you can't do anything about it, right? It's already done. So, make use of the situation. I'm raising these things for food anyway. There you go. It's time to eat them. The, like, the, like, be kind mentality. You want me to, like, bury them in a shoebox? Have a little funeral? That's just weird. Why? Because you can't accept reality? And that's how the whole, the, all of it really is. It's, so you don't understand that there are reasons that certain kids get bullied. And that doesn't, you know, I'm not justifying it. I'm not, I'm not saying that this should happen, but you're not recognizing why it's happening. You're just like, oh, you're being mean. Don't be mean. No, don't be mean. Or you're looking at behaviors that are not mean and you're making a huge deal out of them. That's you bullying. That's you not being kind because you're not even bothering to stop and recognize what the situation is. Right. So say, say my friend with the cat. What if the cat suddenly died? Now... The fact that I have room to bury the cat, and I noted that, suddenly useful. That's suddenly a kindness, isn't it? It, it, I don't understand. And it's the same people who will ignore homeless people. The same people who perpetuate the mistreatment of groups like homeless people who are the most vocal about this. It's, this, it's the people who are like, yay, France, the, the, like, the heritage of France, it's so amazing. They were uh, this really powerful empire. Well, really, look at the colonies of France now. What are they now? They are places like Haiti and the DRC. These are places that the world has either extracted all of the wealth it can from them, or is doing its damnedest to continue extracting whatever wealth is left. That's what French colonies always were, when you really look at it, right? But, proud European tradition, France is great, liberty, all this bullshit. Come on now. What the fuck? You don't, you're, you're looking at the wrong shit for kindness.